Sharon Rogers and this is my testimony. I compare my life to a puzzle with 100 different pieces that I didn't quite know how to put together. My life was just ordinary with everyday priorities more related to school and work. I had my daily disappointments and dissatisfactions that seemed to lead me towards God. Not knowing how to pray, I consistently prayed the same prayer most nights, God, please keep me on track, whatever it may be. I guess God worked with what he could. Initially, wanting to stay in Atlanta after college, I actually almost declined the interview at Thompson High School. After interviewing, I accepted the teaching job at Thompson and shortly afterwards met Neil. In conversation at school, I realized Neil used to work with my mom. In fact, Neil even recognized me by resemblance. I'm not sure how it happened, but the topic of Christianity was brought up. I was able to bombard Neil with all my questions related to the Bible. All my life, I couldn't tell you anything related to the Bible. I was one of those persons that had to look at the table of contents before turning to a certain scripture. I didn't even know what it meant to be a Christian until late in college. I just had so many questions that never seemed to be answered to my satisfaction. At school, Neil and Tori invited me to a church service. The hook was that they said the pastor sometimes played the maracas or something like that while singing. Unfortunately, I haven't seen the maracas, but I'll continue to be hopeful. I actually tried several churches before coming to Good News, which they were all just not satisfying to me. The thought of coming to Good News kept popping up in my head. The one Sunday I finally decided that I was going to go, I remember almost talking myself out of it. Well, that was the Sunday that I got saved, and I know that it was the devil trying to persuade me that morning. I will never forget that church service. I had never seen a pastor talk with such passion. The place just felt alive. I felt alive. I almost felt like she was talking to me. At the end of the service, with the help of Georgette, I was saved. I wonder how different my life would be like if I declined the interview at Thompson. Neil and Georgette gave me about a four-hour briefing after that church service at me ranchos. Post-salvation, scriptures just seemed to make so much more sense. Therefore, I became so thirsty for knowledge, it was almost overwhelming. I would listen to my audio CDs in my car over and over again. I practically have the School for Life CDs memorized. Pastor Matt's latest Purpose series was fantastic. Prior to the series, I wasn't quite sure what my next step was supposed to be. I was ministered to in church and was told, Talk in the Spirit today and you will have your answer. I followed his command and the very next day before school at Greenbrier, Ryan Waggy came into my room and introduced himself. We ended up creating the School for Life Club. The club basically follows the outline from the Abundant Life course and trying to build a foundation in the students at Greenbrier. The first meeting went great. We had two students minister to. Excitingly, our second meeting is only in several days. Right now, I'm basically in the catch-up phase. I'm just trying to build my foundation and put into action the things that I've been taught. I've been trying to discipline myself into reading the Bible every night and pray continuously. Make sure that God is the first person I consult with when a situation should arise. I remember the first time I read the parable of the four seeds. I immediately smiled because I knew that this seed was one that was going to root and flourish. Each day another piece is miraculously put together, and I'm excited about what each new day brings. Praise God.